big thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, and a big thanks to all of these donators of $5 or more, including An Enthusiast, Brian D0313, Dead Zergling, Dragon RPGM Mag, Radio Raptor, Ed Tepish3176, and Wretch435. You're all helping to make these episodes possible. Howdy, insufferable gaming fans. Your old pal Rosser here, back with some more Al Kadim, the Genie's Curse. Last time we muddled through some Cyclopes, which I'm told that is the proper pluralization. Cyclopes or Cyclopes? Well, it's time to start again. Oh, good, my controller started doing that weird thing again. Well, that's fair enough. I'm not gonna bother to try to fix it because it's not problem enough to bother fixing. So we found our way into the Sultan's new dungeon, where we were immediately arrested by a sentry bot. After going through just an awful lot of labyrinthine corridors. So this time I'll save when I get to the end. And I'll be a little nicer to the bard to see if he says anything different, since we found ourselves having an opportunity to try out different dialogue options this time. There's one of those cranked up jackasses. Clockwork menace, if you ask me. But nobody asked me. And I found a secret door. The same old key fits it. Let's save here so I don't have to do all that walking. Alright, let's see how things go this time. Oh, Corsair Brave, etc., etc. Very well, but make it fast. Bard of Great Renown, etc., etc. We've heard this before. Okay, bravo. Okay, nothing different. Oh shit. Okay. Son of a bitch. The miniature copper automaton sees you and sets off an alarm. There is no escape. But that's what they say. Now we know. This could be tricky, but what we have to do, I think, is wait patiently and watch the movements of those things. So this could either be really suspenseful are really boring, depending. We'll find out soon enough. I'm a bard of great renown. My tunes are known to all. Alas the day I came to stay in Bandar, hence my fall. I sang a song of genies wild, of magic ships that sail, but when I sing of Caliph corrupt, I ended up in jail. So take my tale home with thee and sing it up and down. And warn all bards that would stay free, the censor rules this town. I'll do that, thanks for the song. Okay. Be a little more careful now. That one comes that away, and then that one. But how far up does it go? You there, Corsair, you must hear my tale, for I am a magistrate. Um... What, is, what tale is that, O oh Interpreter of the Law? I have been falsely punished. I refuse to sentence a fishmonger to death for excessive public celebrating, and the Caliph arrested me for threatening his rule. He arrested me! He's gone quite mad. Tell the world. Okay, that's two prisoners that say the Caliph is corrupt or mad. Um... Count on me to do that which is honorable. We'll do a little bit of... What? Shit. I screwed that up. And now that one's... I've, I've missed something there. I'd like to know what it was. Release me. I'm an old woman. All I said was that in my 80 years, I never saw so many guards patrolling the streets. I didn't say that I thought it was a bad thing. I thought it was a good idea. Please, I'm an old woman. Hmm... I'm getting a lot of corroborating evidence here. 
I better watch out. Yeah, controller's doing that weird moonwalking thing again. Not sure why, but it's alright. How about you? Da -da 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 -da, there's two of them. Oh, a curse be upon my fate that I should end up here. I never complained about the Caliph's t tyranny. It was my neighbor, that man in the next cell, but I listened to him. Them's the brakes, lady. Shit. I guess they just have to see you from the front. I was hoping I could sneak past it. Guess not. We're learning more about the sight radius of these things. That's good, that's what you want to do in a situation like this. We're gathering intel on the Caliph. Now, mind you... Mind you, it could be that these guys are just bitter because they got imprisoned. Wait for the automatons. Oh, I can come in here if I want. That's a good place to use to dodge them. I can talk to this again. All right. More automatons, batons. Hey! Look what we have here. Steve, did you know that there are 7,964 cracks in the floor of my cell? Get me out of here before I go insane! Uh... Elia, yeah, you must not go insane. You will be free soon, I promise. Or try to relax, I am working to get you out. I might not be able to promise. May the wind blow at your back and the sand devils show you the way. Sure. I can probably trust sand devils. They have devil right in their name. Look at that big ol' swingin' spike dick on that automaton. And two switches sticking right out of his butt. His cylindrical, brazen butt. Interesting design. Oh, I wonder if that's a Modron from the Planescape setting. Uh, I forget what the ones that uh, are cylinder-shaped are called. Uh, monodrones, or maybe duodrones, because they have two flat surfaces. Maybe the modrones are spheres, or modrons. I'd have, I'll have to do some research on that. I, I haven't read my Planescape in a while, and it's very interesting stuff. I didn't mean to load that! Shit! I, I, I meant to save. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. This is what happens when you get reminiscing about the old times and the old D&D campaigns. You make simple mistakes that you could have avoided. this have someone in it before? Guess not. No, it's because I took a different route. Well, that's fair enough. Try saving this time. Um, wrong slot. There we go. I won't have to go all the way through and talk to everyone over again every time. One of them coming? Maybe not? See if one shuffles up this passage. Not seeing one here either. Did they leave it unguarded? A guard spots you. For a hundred gold, I can make sure the Caliph never hears of this incident. Uh, okay. Here's your one hundred gold. Thank you. 
You had better have deep pockets if I catch you again. Sir, you won't. Oh. Well, he didn't tell me not to enter the guards' chambers, he just told me he better not catch me again. But that wasn't again, that was the same encounter. I mean, come on, people. Well, now we know better than to go in there. Luckily, this semi-stealthy stuff isn't as hard as it could have been, so... Good on it for that. I'm not getting completely wrecked, at the very least. Winks and away. Help me, for the love of all the gods. I am but a simple traveler in Bandar al Sadat, a simple visitor from Kudra, an honest land where people speak their minds. I just spoke my mind here. Wait, stranger, listen. I'm listening. I merely said that the local caliph appeared quite fanatical about protection, and a guard overheard me and arrested me. It's not fair. Um. No, I suppose it's not fair. Does seem a bit excessive. I don't know where I'm going. Hi there. I'm Shubu Khan, a forger, and unlike everyone else here, I'm guilty as sin. How refreshing to meet an actual criminal down here. Yep, I'm the only one. They stopped arresting real criminals except ones dangerous to the Caliph. Are you dangerous to the Caliph? Oh yes. I forged a seal that looks just like the Wazir's. Fortunately, I was caught with only a copy of his seal, not with what the seal was commissioned for. Whatever it was, I am certain its intent was to harm the vizier. Why did you forge such a thing? Why, for gold, of course. But after I completed the job, I was caught with some copies of the forged seal. What noble hired you? Some guy from the Caliph's court. I never knew his name. How interesting. I must leave now. Farewell, forger. Well, I guess you got what you deserved. Farewell. Oh shit. That was a faster moving guard, so it was. Help, please release me. I've been falsely imprisoned for speaking against the Caliph, but I never did. I just said I thought the laws were too harsh, but I'll apologize. I'll better I'd better take a look and see where that guard travels. Hey! Hello, son. Um, Father, I must know about the Nameless Masters. Are you one of them? Father is quiet for a long time. At length, he says, How did you come to hear this? Uh, never mind that. Just tell me if it is true. Or, it happened like this. Sure, why not? You tell the tale of genies. After you finish, your father says, Yes, son, I was a member of the Nameless Masters. I helped found the Order of Shires and Sorcerers, in fact. We were a force of good against the evil that ran rampant in the land. We were nameless because we wanted no praise for our work. I discovered that Sorcerer's Isle had great power, and let the group use that island to intensify our magic. We eliminated many evil beings and protected many islands. But the power we controlled was too much for some of our members. They wanted to use the magic for their own gain. I objected and left the group. I took the genie that was under my protection and made the other masters leave Sorcerer's Isle. They, use, they used to come visit me every year to ask me to rejoin them. I always refused. Three years ago, they stopped coming. I assumed they had finally decided to leave me alone. Perhaps I was wrong. Perhaps they are behind this. Perhaps they're behind you right now! Oh my god! I do not know. Uh, what else do you know about them? They weave their magic through special words. They harness their power and focus it into words and phrases that activate their spells. Oh, so they're wizards. Okay. The only way to cancel one of their spells is to speak it in reverse. Um... Do you know where they are now? 
They now live on Al Nakil, an island shrouded in fog, though I know not where it is. But beware, I do know that it is a dangerous place protected by powerful magics. Danger does not concern me, only getting the truth and clearing our name. I wish you all the good fortune in the world. Steve, 1200 XP. Level 7. Hell yeah. Hello again, son. Just dropping by to say hi. Well, all right. Oh, guard. Is that you, guard? My strength is ebbing. This accursed block of cells are disease-ridden. We're all wasting away here. The wicked actions of the Caliph will return to haunt you. The gods will smite you for putting us in these diseased cells. There will come a day of vengeance. I am Hakima, a wise woman, and I have foreseen it. Uh, what day of vengeance? I have foreseen the coming of a great liberator. He is the Tarhik Minkad, one who has fallen, but in falling rises. He passes through the flames, and in suffering he learns to understand the pain of others. He will liberate us. Uh, who is he? He is one who is master of the seas, but knows no crew. One who is mender of men's hearts, but is no priest. And he is one who is not Shair, but is a master of genies. Mark my words, he shall liberate us all. Um. Sounds too perfect a man to be true. Okay. Let's dodge the guard. I'm sure he'll be back through soon. Yep, there he goes. I beg the Khalees' forgiveness. I promise I will not tell a soul of the changes to Bendar al Sadat. I objectly apologize for saying I would. I won't even mention the wretched cells that were that weakened me with disease. Please release me, and I won't tell a soul. And these people are just super desperate. I can't say as I blame them. Uh, yep. Talk to that guy. And now we find our way back out. The save again. Well, the plot certainly has taken quite a twist, hasn't it? But now we've got to go back out. And hopefully find treasures and things I can use. Well, that was goofy. Da -da 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 -da. Nope. Where'd he go? Oh shit. A little more nope. There's always a little more nope. Yep, we've been through here. So, you come through first, then I book it before the one comes from the bottom, and then I can go through... Da 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 I don't think I've talked to the people on this row. Or can I if I go through this direction? Oh, a curse be upon my fate that I should end up here. I never complained about the Khalees... Okay, yeah, I've already talked to you. Shit, 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 shit! This is an outrage. I am a priest of the hierarchy. The Caliph will not get away with this wrongful imprisonment. I committed no crime. I merely insisted on traveling from one section of the city to another without any absurd authorization. Oh, well, that was your mistake. Gotta have authorization. It's authorizatastic. Forgot his travel papers. That caused to imprison a person? Around here it is. Apparently. Shit! Damn it, 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 damn it. How far back am I now? Ugh. I got cocky. That's that's all you can say about it. That was a bit of a surprise. 
Okay. It's all right. Uh, back here I am. That's fine. It's really not that far. Automaton? A ton? No? A not maton? Let's just kindly move on, shall we? Hopefully. I'm sure nothing awful will happen when we try to leave, either. Yep. Things just keep on... The plot thickens. But hey, I leveled up, so that's neat. Wonder if I can learn any new moves. Probably not. I think the new moves were those power-up attacks, but who knows for sure. I can at least check. What level am I now? Um, level 7. Wow. In D&D terms, that's not a whole hell of a lot. In fact, these days a lot of campaigns skip over the early levels and start right at around 3 to 5. But, you know, back then things were tougher. You by god rolled up your stats randomly down the list and you started at level 1. None of this point by crap. And when you died, you died. You want to get your character resurrected? Hope you haven't pissed off your party and hope they have about 10,000 gold on them. Which they don't. Unless they killed a dragon, and if they killed a dragon, then your GM was probably playing the dragon wrong. Because dragons are tough. And they're smarter than you. Because they've been alive for thousands of years. Now, if I were GMing a dragon, I'd sure as shit have contingency plans mapped out all over the place, because I've seen just about everything a player can come up with in my days. Hell, I've, I'm usually the one that comes up with it. I'm a devious bastard. And I like to use everything to my advantage when I'm gaming. I can see from your demeanor that you have talked with your family. May I please have the keys to both secret doors back? Yes. Thank you for clearing the way through. Now we can start rescuing innocent prisoners. Hey, alright. Now let's get out of here before someone tattles on me. Because you know they will. Alright. They said someone in the court... Um... Commissioned a thing. Damn, I've already forgotten. So we're gonna have to talk to people in the castle, aren't we? Maybe not. But probably. We're ignored. 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 These are this is more servanty than it is courtly. Probably someone close to the Wazir. There's someone who actually wants to help me. Tonight's dinner will be a festival of shallots with roast beast and goat's milk sauce. Probably already read that. Uh, I can't talk right now. Fair enough. Harumph! 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 Or maybe I can just go to my magic boat and get the hell out, but... Then again, maybe not. Since I'm already here, I might as well do my due diligence. K 
catch a glimpse of boring population and military, etc, etc, etc. Um... Passing through and thought I'd visit. All the vizier has instructed me, etc. I guess I didn't actually talk to this guy. Or maybe I did. Fine. Who else we got? I'm guessing the guards are a bust. Not to be confused with the bust of the guards. Which who would commission one of those? Door will not open. Door will not open. Zier, conduct, etc. Nord, rumps. Won't open. Hmm. Hi, guy. <laughs> Do not disturb. Ah, right, then. I feel like I'm spinning my wheels a bit. Yeah, okay then. Hmm. I might have just been wasting some time there. Unfortunate. Hello. What's this? The note says, Son of Z-A-H, meet me in the South Banquet Hall as soon as possible. I have vital information about your family. Oh. The note crumbles to dust in your hands. Okay, then. Intriguing. Because it's political intrigue, you see. Which one of these is the South Banquet Hall? Probably this. Greetings, son of Alhazred. How very decent of you to come so quickly after getting my note. You have earned a thousand experience points. My name is Abdel. I am noble in the Caliph's court. I am here to help you against your enemies. Who are my enemies? The Vizier. The Vizier and his wicked cronies. I have learned that, like everyone in this town, you have been victimized by the evil Wazir. He masterminded the plot against your father. The Wazir has placed a curse on the Caliph. His mind control magics are responsible for the Caliph's recent tyranny. It looks like the Caliph is wicked because the Caliph hands down orders to partition the city and lock up dissenters. But the Wazir, it is the Wazir who is evil. And the Caliph, a mere marionette at the ends of magical strings. If the Wazir is not stopped soon, he will have total control of the Caliph. Um, what proof do you have of these accusations? I do not have proof, but I know where to get it. To get proof of this, you will have to venture into an area of the palace that is off-limits to you. Are you up to such a challenge? Um... Might not be honorable to do so. Oh, pish tish. Honor, dishonor, what does that matter? The Wazir, acting through the Caliph, has most notoriously abused and dishonored your family. He then tried to keep you from leaving your little island so you could not clear your family name. While you take cold comfort in your honor, the Wazir takes comfort in the money stolen from your family. Does your heart not burn for revenge? Now I offer you a chance to expose the traitorous, traitor, traitorous, honorless Wazir to all the world. If you do not go, your family will continue to be unjustly slandered and punished. Hmm. I suppose I have little choice but to go. I'll try to clear my family's name. Splendid. Here's what you must do. In the Caliph's private chamber, there are many treasure rooms. And one treasure room is a secret door. Behind that door is a room with the possessions taken from your family. Along with those possessions is a section of the Wazir's journal. It contains his seal and chronicles his perfidity. perfidy. It is proof enough to stop the Wazir. 
How do I get the journal? Take this ring. It will allow you to teleport into the private area in the northern wing of the palace. It is a palace filled with secrets. It only it is a place filled with secrets. It only works once, so be sure to make the most of your visit. The ring will only work when you are standing in the little meditation chamber on the southwest wing of the palace. To return, you must stand on the spot where you arrived and activate the ring there. The ring will take you into the Wazir's chambers. You must stealthily make your way west to the Caliph's chambers. Guards and minions will be on patrol. You must evade or distract them. Make your way to the Caliph's harem. One of his wives is my ally. Tell her your name is Cat's Paw, and she will give you the key to the secret room in the treasure room. Secret door in the treasure room. Find the Caliph's private bedroom. In one of the treasure rooms is a secret door. Behind the secret door is your family treasure and the journal. Take all. I only wish I could advise you to take the Caliph's treasure as well, but alas, it is protected by magical alarms. Touch only the secret door. Um... I will not take the Caliph's treasure even if I could. I will just take that which is rightfully mine. Didn't that guy in the dungeon say that he forged a seal for a dude? If he forged a seal for a guy, then this guy could have definitely be setting the vizier up. All I want is the journal. Oh yes, your insufferable honor. Well, you may keep your honor. As long as the vizier is exposed, I shall be content. Now when you have the journal, gain an audience with the caliph. Show it to him and we will finally have peace in Mandar al-Sadat. Tell me how you know all this. Oh, just by... Well, it's amazing the sort of things one can learn in court. May your mission succeed. Oh, one more thing. Don't waste your time looking through the Wazir's effects. He often writes fictitious documents proclaiming his innocence for anyone who burgles in his room to find. Uh... Farewell. I don't think I can trust this guy. That's a lot to digest, so we can do it over the next few days, because that is enough for today. We're gonna break here. Sketchy nobles. And next time we'll uh, make a decision on what we're gonna do. We'll have to review some of the footage and see what's up, so... Until next time, thank you all very much for watching. This has been your old pal Rosser. Take a drink.